Hey, what is up, guys? Um, it's Panther Designs here, or whatever you know me as, James, or from my other channel, uh, Minx, or whatever. Whatever it may be, uh, you know me as, uh, I'm here making a tutorial, my second tutorial on this channel. And uh, today's tutorial is going to be about how to do color correction in Photoshop. Um, I know when I started off uh, doing um, GFX and stuff, I had no clue how to do color correction, even though it's like the most simple thing ever. Um, it's just being good at color correction is one thing, and being, uh, knowing how to do it is another. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do it. So, I mean, you have to be good at it on your own. I can't teach you how to do that. So basically, we have some simple text I just made in a Photoshop, or, uh, Cinema 4D. If you guys, uh, uh, want to know how to make text and you don't know how to make it, um, go over to my cinema 4d tutorial and uh but you won't i didn't teach you how to do this uh this is with a, pr with a plugin called Throwsy, and it's uh, really cool and yeah so quickly we're gonna create a new layer go to our paint bucket tool switch it to black bam okay we're gonna put that behind us and we're gonna actually switch this to a no we're good here this is visible uh we're gonna quickly lighten it up this is also a little tip for you guys if you guys uh need to lighten up uh, one of your projects just do this create a, bo a white box or white rectangle over your text and do create clipping mask create it to put it to overlay and that actually looks a lot better now so we're gonna quickly merge the layers uh, select them both control E and we have this or you can go to when you have them selected go to down here in the merge but merge layers or whatever uh, it's your choice however you want to do it um, actually guys for this tutorial, I'm gonna have it, um, we're gonna have it darker, because I'm trying to get it to, trying to get you guys to kind of see, like, these, these little cracks light up and stuff, so. Now that we have that, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys all the color corrections on how to do it and stuff, and, uh, you might be up here, if you don't have this up here, these are all the color corrections, so there's a lot, a lot, and a lot of color corrections, but, uh, I'll show you guys the main ones that, um, you guys, uh, most people use, so. That'll, I'll show you guys that. And um, if you guys don't have this up here, just go up here, click on Essentials, and uh, rather than swatch, just go to Colors. And then uh, if you guys don't find that, I'll show you guys another way to get to the color corrections. Click on this little hemi circle, half filled in white, and you have all the color corrections here. So first thing people usually do is add a gradient map, and you see how that, it just turns everything black and white, but that's the kind of gradient there's matters on how, what kind of gradient you use. So we're gonna use a green gradient, and we are, that's all. Now we're just gonna click it to overlay. Now you see what that did? It pretty much color corrected my, um, my, my text and turned it uh, into a green text. And now you can turn that down as much as we want. I'd like a little tint of green. That's what we want, okay. So now we're gonna go down here. Um, and another thing, if you just wanna do hue and saturation, if you just wanna Say you don't like the color of these little cracks in here and stuff. Click on your layer. Make sure it's rasterized. If it's not rasterized, then go here and click on rasterize layer. That makes it editable. So when you're on here, uh, your text layer, do control U and then it brings you to here. Now when you do this, it won't, oh, never mind. Only only works for some things, but you see how uh, it's changing these? Um, yeah, so that's how you change the colors inside and I think I'm gonna stick with the purple I, I like how the purple looks turn the that looks weird um, turning the saturation all the way up I like how that looks put some light lighting on it turn it down a bit that looks good okay so now we have that the second color correction people use a lot is um you know you could go ahead and add a hue and saturation or that's what people do uh, or you could do uh, a lot of people do curves so do curves basically you guys can do whatever you want go all the way up here it looks retarded and if you want to add like a say a white or a red go here that looks kind of dumb but you know Drag it down, turns into kind of like a green teal type thing. Personally, I like it as the RGB, and then, you know, this. Uh, let me get to red and just even it out. Okay, so let's go back to the RGB. And I like it like that, so we're going to keep it like that. Um, now we're going to go, let's add our gradient map back. 
And you know what? We're gonna actually, uh, a lot of people do multiple gradient maps, um, but these are basically like the main ones uh, that are used. Hue and saturation, uh, you know, the gradient map, um, the curves, uh, levels. Um, I'm not sure many people use levels, but you know, you can use them if you want. I'm not really gonna teach you how to use them. I'm not sure what vibrance does. Um, you can see. Okay, so it's basically the saturation of what's on there. It's kind of... Oh, well, saturation is right here. This looks kind of cool. Except for, I think I'm going to take the gradient map of this off. And we're going to add a new gradient map. So, um, let's go to gradient map. And by the way, guys, this is going to be like a first of a series. Um, uh, like, um, uh, just like a series called like GFX tips or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to do, I'd like to do something like that. And, um, that looks pretty cool. So we're going to take that off, see how it looks. Now, let's take this down a bit. And we're going to add actually a, we're going to go to the rectangle tool, drag a box over it. It's getting a bit dark, so we want to be able to see it. Put it up down here, create clipping mask, change it to overlay. And that looks pretty cool. I mean, if that's what the color you want, then that looks cool. Uh, pretty cool. If you ever played uh, Borderlands 2, this kind of looks like the Iridium stuff um, from Borderlands 2. I don't know if you've played it before, but, you know. And uh, this would look pretty sick on a, um, a banner, whatever you're doing, um, stuff like that. And uh, a lot of, some people use um, brightness and contrast. You know, add some brightness to it. Brighten it down. Contrast. I'd like to put the contrast there and brighten it up. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Anyways, I don't like this gradient map. Actually, the gradient map doesn't look bad. But, uh, yeah, another thing uh, people might do is, um, here, let me show you guys a cool little tip, I guess. Um, go over, click on your text, go to the FX or whatever. There's two ways to do this. Either you could have your text selected go down to FX and then go to gradient overlay or you could go here click all the way to the right over here and you know you get the same thing we're gonna click on gradient map we're gonna change it to um, hmm, hold up actually uh, we're gonna change the angle to 90 we're gonna pick a uh, black and white one uh, right about in the middle at 10 so then we're gonna put it to overlay um i don't think that looks too good but i'm gonna turn it down a bit and then yeah so you got this and this is some pretty sick color correction i like the way it looks um i'm actually gonna i'll try to if i find a way to um save it um, I'll put it in the description. You guys can have this color correction free. Uh, you know, I mean, if you guys want it, I don't know. If you don't know, if you don't want to do your own color correction. All right, let me not move that. I forgot we have the rectangle. Yeah, let me just group these two layers. Control E. All right. So thank you guys for watching. This will be a first uh, first of a series um, uh, for GFX tips uh, weekly. I think I might do them weekly. Um, maybe i don't know who knows um anyways so basically uh next tutorial i'll probably do a throwsy tutorial so this kind of text right here so you guys can if you guys want to see how to do throwsy and how to make some good throwsy and what what settings to use and stuff to make throwsy look good uh you know subscribe stay around um if you want to get good at gfx or just learn some tips even if you're good and you don't know everything so um Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.